What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are jumping in here talking about the Blue Yeti microphone. The $100, $125 MSRP USB microphone versus the Shure SM7B about a $350 to $400 microphone. So we're going to try and do this as apples to apples. Let me get my other camera. So right now I've got this camera going. I've got that camera going. And then I have my vlog camera going. So we're good to go. You are now listening to me on the Blue Yeti microphone. As you guys can see, there's just a little bit of static in the background if I go quiet. You can hear that just a little bit of static in the background. And that is talking through the Blue Yeti with the cardioid pattern. So that's the Blue Yeti with the cardioid pattern. It is definitely, in my opinion, definitely worth the $100. It is the best budget USB microphone on the market. So this is an audio test of the Blue Yeti. Now we're going to switch over to the Logitech, or the C920. So now you guys are listening to me on the Shure SM7B microphone. This is without any of the VST plugins. This is just straight with the inline D booster and my audio interface that I've got set up. So now we're going to be doing a sound comparison between the Shure SM7B and the Blue Yeti. Right now you're listening to me with the SM7B. We're going to clap in front of it. I'm going to clap behind it on each side. And we're going to switch over to the Blue Yeti and see how that sounds. Alright, so now you guys are listening to me on the Blue Yeti microphone. I did have to adjust my output gain just a little bit. And so now we're going to do the same clapping between both microphones. And that is going to be a sound comparison. I'm also, it's not streamer related, but I'm going to walk across the room and project my sound to see how the audio sounds between each microphone. And again, this is the Blue Yeti microphone. So this is the audio talking normal with the Blue Yeti microphone, picking up any background noise in your room or if you're streaming and you have a child running around in the background, things like that, this is going to be the worser choice just because it's going to pick up a lot more of that audio in the background. This is the Shure SM7B microphone. This is simulating having room noise or anything going on in the background with family, a child, anything like that. And you guys can definitely hear, let me know down in the comments below, but to me it sounds like you can definitely hear the ambient noise with the Blue Yeti a lot more. And the Shure SM7B doesn't really pick up as much of that background noise with it being a low output microphone. So that's just a quick little clip showing you guys kind of the differences between your $100 microphone and your $400 Shure SM7B. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do like any of the content I am providing, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and Sunday at 8 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'm sorry, I was super, super tired yesterday. But, so, in conclusion, I am a big fan of the Shure SM7B. I don't know. On a limited budget, it's definitely not exponentially higher and nicer where you would want to upgrade to. The Blue Yeti microphone is right around $100, whereas the Shure SM7B is retail right around $400. Is it four times better? No. I'm just going to go out there and say it's not. But some things in life, you just got to enjoy the luxuries. And that is kind of the reason why I wanted it. I wanted the best quality audio I possibly could. And I think it just looks aesthetically beautiful. It's definitely something that I enjoy looking at. I enjoy using. But on a limited budget, the Blue Yeti, I would go with every day of the week. It's definitely one of those things where if you have the extra money and you're gonna blow it on anything might as well buy something nice enjoy it something that you're gonna use all the time too that's really a big thing is I'm using this three to five times a week 
for YouTube videos, streaming, all of that type of stuff. I can use this for making Vine videos or TikTok, anything like that. I guess Vine's kind of gone now, but TikTok videos, Instagram stuff, I can use this for so many different things where this one is more set up for a broadcaster or something like that, whereas the Blue Yeti is more better for podcasting and catching noises from a whole group around a table or something like that. You can just set the microphone right in the middle and you can pick up everyone's noise where this is kind of subjective to the person and you would have to set up three or four of these to get everyone in there. But so far, I absolutely love it. I mean, everything about it, it's definitely an investment, but it's definitely a worth it investment. It's definitely a good bang for your buck, though. Leave a comment down below if you guys have any suggestions on future videos or have any feedback on which one you think sounds better, the Shure SM7B or the Blue Yeti microphone. I'll see you guys in the next one. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your